First, let me show you what's actually required. Of course, you're going to need a 3DS system that's not modded yet. Next up, you're definitely going to need an SD card, and I would go for at least 128 gigabytes or maybe 64. And then you'll need something like this, which could plug into a computer and has an SD card slot. I use one that looks like this, and you can put it in your SD card in here and plug it in like a flash drive in your computer. So the first thing you'll want to do is plug the SD card into your computer. Now that your SD card popped up right here, right click on it and click format. And then you'll want to make sure that it's formatted in FAT32. If you click on it, you may see stuff like NTFS, FAT32, XFAT. It has to be FAT32. And then click on start and it'll wipe every file on the SD card. So be careful if you have any files on your SD card from your 3DS or just from anything in general. Definitely make sure to back them up on your computer before you format it. Once it's formatted in FAT32, you are ready to get started. So let's get back to the 3DS and put in your SD card. After we put the SD card back here, we'll turn it on and then we're going to go over the system settings when it loads up and you're over here on system settings first. Make sure you have an active internet connection added. Now you're going to want to go down to other settings and then go all the way to the right and click on system update. It is now updating and for this tutorial, I will have the version number on screen that I'm using at the time of recording this. In the future, you may have higher update versions, so make sure that you're getting the latest update. Now your 3DS should fully restart and be back on the whole menu. And we're going to relaunch the system settings one more time. As you can see right here, it says our update version is sys 11.17.0-50U. You're going to want to save that for later. Now you're going to want to turn off your system and take out the SD card. We're going back to the computer. First, you want to download something called MSET9. And then you want to make sure that you have Python 3 downloaded on your computer. When you click on MSET9, you want to make sure that you don't download the source code like this and this. Click right here where it says zip file. First, let's focus on the MSET9 file you just downloaded. You should be able to double click on the zip file and view every file right here. Select all these files and drag and drop them onto your SD card. There we go. And now let's focus on installing Python. What I did is launch the Microsoft Store and just simply type in Python and search. And right here, there's tons of Python options. The one I have installed right now is the latest one, which is Python 3.13. And you just select on it right here and install it. Right here on your SD card with all these new files, you want to double click on the one that ends with .bat and watch what happens. It launches this command prompt and here we go. It says, please type in a number and then hit return. So enter one of these four numbers based on what model of 3DS you have and what update. I believe the version I have was 11.17.0-50U and I have an old 3DS model, the 3DS XL. If your 3DS or 2DS doesn't have the word new in the title and you have the same update that I did, then you're going to want to enter number one. So hit one and then hit on enter. And here we go. You can see up here, it says current M's at 9 state ID 1 not created. So we're going to want to create that. Hit the number 1 again and then hit enter. It gives you a little disclaimer and you should be fine. So hit the number 1 again to confirm and then there we go. Created hack ID 1. It says press enter to exit. So hit enter one more time and the program is now closed. Now take your SD card out of your computer and put it back in your 3DS system. This next part may seem a bit random, but once you put your 3DS back up, you're going to want to launch Me Maker. Press the home menu button. From there, go and launch system settings again. Now on system settings in the bottom left, click on data management and then 3DS and then go over to software and as you can see at the bottom it says that the SD card software management information is corrupted. Reset it now and you're going to want to click on yes. It should now be resetting and now that it's complete you can simply hold the power button and shut off the 3DS system. Now that the 3DS is back off, take out the SD card and let's go back to the computer. Go back over to the same file ending in .bat and give it a launch. And then press the same number you did before and when you hit enter, it should say ready right here. Current MZ9 state ready and that's a good sign. So press the number 0 and then hit enter to close the program and we're going to go back to the 3DS. This next part is important. As you can see, my 3DS is booting on and see how 
by default, when I turned on the system, it was already hovering over system settings. If it wasn't for some reason, then click on system settings and turn it off and then back on. You need to make sure that when you boot up your 3DS right here, it's already hovered over system settings and then launch the app. Now that you're in here, go back down again in the bottom left to data management and then Nintendo 3DS and then extra data right here. Do not click on a single thing. And with the 3DS still being on, you want to take out your SD card. Now we're back on the computer and your 3DS right now should still be on. Click on the same .bat file as before and then put in the model of your 3DS. So I'm going to press number one. Now what you want to do right here is press number three for inject trigger file and then hit enter. And right there, it says M set 9 successfully injected. Now you can just press the enter button to close the program and put your SD card back in your 3DS. Here's my 3DS right here. I did not click a single thing and I'm going to put my SD card back in and watch what happens. Boom. We are now in the first stages of having a mod 3DS. If you see this menu, you did everything right. Up on the top screen, it says all input files verified and you have to follow this a little pattern by pressing buttons on this D-pad. So right here, I'm going to click left, down, right, up, A to make sure I verified and it should back up a couple files right here. There we go. Press A to continue. And as you see right here, the screens just both went black for me. Sometimes it goes black, but it sometimes ends up like this, which is how it should look. This is a Luma 3DS menu for now. What I would recommend doing is not changing any of these file settings. So just use the D-pad to scroll down. To where it says save and exit and then press the a button it should reboot the system back to the home menu and then press the power button we're going to turn off the 3ds and remove mz9 from your sd card so take your sd card out and we're going back to the computer we're back on the computer press on the same bat file on your sd card based on the model of 3ds you have so i'm going to press number one and then right here it says injected current MZ9 state injected, and that's a good thing. And right here, it says number four is to remove the trigger file. So press number four and hit enter. Now there's an option for number five, remove MZ9. So we're going to type number five and hit enter button two. Now you're good to press the enter button to close the program. Now what you're going to do is download these two files on the screen, which are x underscore finalize helper dot firm and finalize dot rom fs. First, grab onto the file called finalize rom fs and you're gonna want to drag it over to the root of your SD card. Click on the folder called Luma and inside of it there's a payloads folder and this is where you're gonna put that other file. X underscore finalize underscore helper dot firm, drag onto this and bring it right over to the payloads folder. Now let's take out the SD card and put it back into the 3DS. Now we're going to press three buttons at the same time, the down button on the D-pad, the L button, and the select. L, down, select, and just like that, you should see these at the bottom, Rosalina menu right here. You want to scroll down and click on miscellaneous options, and then scroll to the bottom and click on dump PSP firmware. Press the B button and then scroll up and click on nullify user time offset. Then simply keep pressing the B button until you're on the whole menu like normal. What we're going to do now is turn off the console, but after we do this, we're not going to take out the SD card. So turn it off and wait until it's fully off and then start holding down the X button and then press power again to turn it on. You are now in something called God Mode 9 and if you wait a bit at the bottom, it should say something like RTC date and time seems to be wrong. Press A to click on yes and yeah, you can see right here it thinks that the date is... 2011 that ain't true today is actually january 14th but get the time set and then press the a button and then right here you're gonna want to click a again then right here press on the home button and then at the bottom screen scroll down and click on scripts and then click on a to click on finalize this part may take a while you're gonna want to press the a button and the reason it may take a while is because it's going to make nand back up. just keep pressing the a button and then right here you're gonna have to do that a little key puzzle again which is up right left up and then a it's installing some pretty useful files that you're definitely gonna want for mod 3ds now you can just set your 3ds down for a bit now the setup is complete it's actually showing you on the top screen what to do and a little bit of info on the bottom screen but let me show you on the computer press the a button and now the system is off get the sd card out onto the computer all right we're here on the computer and on your sd card go into the gm9 folder and then backups this is your nand backup right here you're gonna want to take these three files select them and drag them onto a safe location on your computer to back them up now that it's on your computer, you could delete the backup right here from your 3DS. You don't really need that on there. And there we go. Now let's go back on the 3DS. Here we go. My 3DS just booted up. And as you can see, we have some gifts to unlock. This is very good right here are a bunch of homebrew mod 3DS apps that 
have now been installed. The first one is Anemone 3DS. So what this one does is allows you to get custom themes on your 3DS. Next is called Checkpoint. This is one is very, very useful. Next up, we got a Universal Updater. And we have a Homebrew Launcher. This one is very important as well. And what's this? FDPD. I believe this one is for dragging files from your computer to the systems without actually taking out your microwave. And the last one is FBI. So this website I'm on right now is for custom 3DS themes, and I really like this primal ground on one. So let's just click on it right here and watch this, guys. Let's use my mouse to hover over it, and there is a QR code. And here's my 3DS, and let's press the R button and watch this. It will whip out the camera, and I could aim it at it and look at this. There we go. It says downloading. Now on your theme, just press the A button, and you have different installation options. And I'm going to go press the up button right here on the d-pad for normal install and installing a single theme brought me back here and i could just press the whole menu button and here we go wait for it there we go it's that easy it's one of the many many things you can do here with a mod 3ds and i really hope this helped you guys out